In this tutorial, we are going to practice finding the volume of a rectangular prism when some of the dimensions are mixed numbers. To find the volume of any rectangular prism, we just take that prism's length, multiply it by its width, and multiply it by its height. The length and the width represent the two dimensions at the bottom, and multiplying those two dimensions will actually give us the area of the base. And if we take that area and multiply it by its height, that will add depth or give it volume. So we are going to start by substituting our two values in for length and width. So I'm going to write 2 and 2 thirds for the length, 3 and 1 half for the width, and the height is 6 inches. Now whenever you multiply mixed numbers together, you have to rename those as improper fractions. And to do that, you take the denominator that's already there and just rewrite it. But to get the numerator, you have to multiply the denominator by the whole number, and 3 times 2 is 6, and then you add the numerator to that product, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So we renamed 2 and 2 thirds as 8 thirds. And for 3 and a half, we have to take that denominator of 2 and write that exactly as it is. Next, we multiply the denominator by the whole number. 2 times 3 is 6. And then we add the numerator to that product. 6 plus 1 is 7. So 3 and a half is equivalent to 7 halves. And if you have a whole number, write that whole number as your numerator and write a 1 as your denominator. Now, after you have renamed all of your terms as fractions, what we have to do is check for any cancellation. What we can do is find one number at the top and one number at the bottom that share a common factor. For example, 3 and 6 have a common factor of 3, so we're going to take that common factor of 3 and divide it into each number. 3 can be divided into 3 one time. 3 can be divided into 6 two times. Now we check to see if there's one more number at the top and one more number at the bottom that can be canceled. If you have a 1, those are as small as you can reduce those, so we can ignore the 1s. But this 2 can be canceled with this 2 up here. And if you ever have the same number on the bottom and the top, you can cancel those terms out and change those into the number 1 automatically. Because the biggest thing that can go inside itself is itself. 2 can go inside 2 once, and 2 can go inside 2 one time as well. So now that we have canceled everything that's possible, we are going to multiply our remaining numerators together to get our numerator and our remaining denominators to get our denominator. So on the top we have an 8 and a 7, so 8 times 7 is 56, and 56 times 1 is also 56. So the numerator will be 56. And for the denominator we have 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, and anything divided by 1 is itself. So the volume of the shown rectangular prism is 56 cubic inches. Let's try one more example. This time instead of writing the formula, I'm going to plug the numbers into the formula right away. And I like to start with the two numbers that represent the dimensions of our base. So I'm going to write 1 and 3 fifths first, multiplied by 5 and 5 eighths multiplied by the height, which is 2 and 2 thirds. Next, we have to rename all of our mixed numbers as improper fractions. 1 and 3 fifths will be renamed as 8 fifths. For 5 and 5 eighths, we write our denominator exactly the same. That's an 8. And for the numerator, we have to do 8 times 5, which is 40. And 40 plus 5 is 45. And for 2 and 2 thirds, the denominator is going to be 3, and the numerator is going to be 8. Next, what we do is check for any cancellation. We have an 8 here and an 8 here, and we can change both of those into the number 1. And we can cancel out the 5 and the 45. They share a common factor of 5. 5 can be divided into itself once, and we can get 9 groups of 5 into 45. And now we can cancel out the 9 and the 3. 3 can be divided into itself once, and 3 can be divided into 9 three times. 
Now, what we have left for our numerator is a 1, a 3, and an 8. 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 times 8 is 24. And if you ever have all 1's remaining at the bottom, we can write a 1 at the bottom right away, because you can multiply 1 by itself a trillion times, and you're still going to get a value of 1. So we have an answer of 24 over 1, which is the same thing as 24 holes. So the volume of the shown rectangular prism is 24 cubic inches.